know if you've ever been to South Central Los Angeles, but if you have, you'll know that the only plants you'll see on most of the streets are a few weeds and sick-looking blades of browning grass. And I know that this is sadly the case for many urban areas around the country, but California resident Ron Finley decided to change that situation in his little corner of the world and from a concrete jungle he created a fantastic food forest. I am so honored to have Ron Finley as my guest today. Welcome Ron. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. <laughs> Just watching what you're doing is changing the lives of so many people. It's the most beautiful giving thing. I just want to show you a little bit of this video and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. Take a look. Gardens build community, period. It's funny to be on the other side of the fence and just hear the comments. You know, people guessing what stuff is, just ooh and ah. Seeing somebody out here at six in the morning standing in the street just looking at the sunflowers, I mean, that's, that's what it's here for. I like to live on the edge, so I plant, I plant mint where you're not supposed to. These are seed pods, and um, these things, the seeds are in here. The wind takes them all over the place, and you'll wind up with broccoli two blocks away, and people wonder why. I didn't plant no broccoli. How the hell did I get broccoli? Plants want to live, you know, and they're going to morph, and they're going to do things, and they're going to follow the sun everything they can do to survive. I'm providing an environment where they can live. To me, it's like my solace right now. Plants change people. I have conversations with people that I've seen for years that I would never imagine. I had people that would drive by and say, I just wanted my mom to see your garden. Hey, look, mom, this is what you used to do, I guess. And they knew that their mom would you know, feel good about seeing this. There's um, an elderly Japanese guy, and he would come early in the morning, and he would just walk the paths. I mean, slow. He would just walk the paths of the garden, and he's in his 80s, and he doesn't speak English. He'd just walk, walk in the garden. So uh, we you know, found a way to communicate sign language, and um, he brought me some plants that he wanted me to grow. I found a mother and a daughter out here at 10.30 at night. You don't just go somewhere at 10.30 at night, especially over here in somebody's garden at 10.30 at night, unless you, you really need it. And, and it hurt me, it made me sad. You know? And I told them, you know, take what you want. Why should there be people hungry here? One plant will give you 1,000, 2,000, 20,000 seeds. We have the land to plant them. If you look down the streets here, you see all this brown grass and grass, grass, when you can be feeding people. They call areas like this throughout the United States, you know, food deserts. I thought, you know, why not have food for us? The poorest people in this country have access to the worst quality food, sure. convenience store food. What you are bringing to this community uh, is, is so life affirming yes. and life changing. When you talked about the, the mother and the daughter that came at 10 o'clock at sad, night. It made me sad, I cried after I went inside. It was sad to I, under, I understand why that would make you sad, but at the same time, they're going into their apartment and they're going to eat chard <laughs> and watermelon and beets. broccoli and beets <laughs> and so much better than convenience store food. It's on the street for a couple of reasons. First of all, I want you to take it. Right. Secondly, I want you to see that you can do this. I want you to see that there, there's, there's, it's not magic, you know, it, it's, it's, you can feed yourself. You can feed yourself healthy food. And where I live, literally, you cannot, it's hard as hell to get organic food. And that's one, of, and I want, I want to tell people to stop waiting and do it for yourself. Stop waiting for somebody to bring it to you. And do you find that the people who come and, and take your food, which you offer yeah. to them, are they liking the taste of fresh food? Are they making comments oh, yeah. about no, that? I have pictures I can show you and videos I can show you where you almost see them go back. Damn, this is how a tomato tasted. This is, you know, this is how I'm eating. You know, I've had people rip the corn straight off the cob and eat it right there. And it's, and they, they, you almost see them go back. This is what food had flavor. Do you find that people in your neighborhood um, are starting to do this in their own backyards, in their own window boxes, and on their own roof in pots? Yeah, they are, and I can see it. We, I did um, a news crew uh, a couple of weeks ago. We rode around and saw 
you know, the differences of, of gardens that are popping up and they're popping up on the parkways. We're getting the law amended, let's say, where you can put edibles on your parkway because right now you really can't. Did they give you any a flack when you first started oh, planting, yeah. planting broccoli yeah, in their parkways? Don't, don't you parkways? see the tire trucks, <laughs> tire marks on my face? Yeah, it was bad. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I got cited. You know, at one point I, I had a, a warrant issue for my arrest. For your arrest. For your arrest, for, for, growing, plant, yes, for, for growing, removing for, weeds it, it, and growing organic yes, food for the community. That's the world we live What in. is LA Green, Green Grounds? Grounds? What yes. is that? Basically, it's kind of a pay it forward organization where we actually put gardens in people's homes in South Central. We, we have a thing, we call them dig ins, where people come and volunteer. It's almost like a barn raising, I guess you can call it a, a garden raising, where so in a day, you'll have a garden you know, plant it with, you know, lots of organic soil, organic vegetables, and um, it's, it's, it's starting, it's spreading, you know, it's spreading, but it's, and it's free. It's just, we expect you to do the same. If people want to get a hold of you, where would they get a hold of you? Uh, ronfinley.com or ronfinley at me.com. Yeah. I love what same. you're doing. Thank you so much. Okay.